Okay, a bit of a second look at this Gillow's right flyer. I've packed it all out, busy looking it over, and I'll show you the full contents and uh, what we get on the printed sheets. Um, I think they could have done a better, better job of the um, box art. Um, I mean, I know that's intended to look somewhat, um, you know, old style, not full color. But um, there's so many nicer images of of the right flyer than that. And in fact, they do include some of it over here. Um, you know, they've got some... Look, look, I, I don't know why that wouldn't be the box art. That's, that's just so awesome. Um, but anyway, I'll get I'll let I'll get back to that. Let me just show you what was inside. So the one piece which is a bit of a oddity is the base. So there's a I don't know if there's a picture here. I'll show you. So you see that picture there. So that's a base that the model will stand on. And this whole sheet is dedicated just to that. Um, I won't be displaying it on this base, so that whole piece is pretty useless to me. So we'll set that aside because we're interested in the aircraft. And what we've got is two laser cut sheets, um, some stringers, different sizes. And... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, spars, nine wing spars, and then one, one bit of a thicker one. We've got the roll of cotton. And one little block. That is it. So we've got all of that. That is a lot of um, a lot of ribs, but they laser cut, so not not difficult at all to get them out of the sheet. And then this one, which is the front, probably this. Very delicate. It's definitely going to be a delicate model. I'm wondering whether one could obtain a figure, possibly 3D printed, that one could replace the profile view of the of the pilot um, I mean this looks like a very nice kit of the right flyer and it's almost a little bit of a waste to go and only have a profile view pilot so that might be something to look into we've also got this um, the chain drives so you see those two chain drives there to the props from the engine um, you could definitely, like as I'm looking at this, you could definitely improve this model vastly by um, doing something interesting there. Uh, metal parts, 3D printed parts. I think I will be doing that. I won't be using those parts. That's a definite area of improvement and it will look amazing. So I'm guessing that this thick one, without even looking... Uh, part of the reason for that would be carving the props, maybe. I wonder. Yeah, it might be that. Although, well, I'll have a look. And as far as the engine goes, I'm not seeing anything, which means we might have that block to be representative and... Um, I would like a nicely scaled engine there. So I can dig around in my plastic model goods 
uh, without thinking of 3D printing first, I can I can see if one could manufacture from leftover parts or even from a uh, plastic tube and things like that, um, the engine. So I will have to go and investigate. They do show some pictures here. Oh, actually, there's a good one. There's a good one of the engine. Now, that's definitely uh, something that will make a huge difference on this model. The engine piping. You could use brass, um, brass rod, brass wire. The fuel tank. So yep, there's there's definitely uh, engine pilot and the chain drives, which I would like to improve on. The propellers. Um, I I guess one could actually 3D print rather than carve, but carving is not the biggest deal here. An interesting little challenge. Um. Yes, so that this this area here uh, seems to indicate how they were thinking of presenting a simplified version of the engine, and there's there's their approach to the props. Um, but as far as the main airframe goes, I don't think there's anything to be done. That that looks pretty good. Yep, what's on the back here? Okay, the wings. Yes, that looks pretty nice. The trailing edges are going to be interesting um, because I don't think there's any balsa wood there and you're going to have to get a scalloped edge on the tissue. I'll have to give that a little bit of thought. I'm not sure how one would approach that. You've got the side view. There's the there's the profile pilot, and here's a side view of the right flyer. Obviously, a static model, no intention to get uh, any form of propellers working other than um, uh, you know the, one one could do it that they actually turn, but um, definitely not for flying. So that's that page, and then the other page. has got a not quite a three view but a, a couple of views uh, okay showing rigging yep um, and then two two fairly big views of the model that's a built model but it's uh, it's a well presented image there and yes i do definitely get the feeling that engine drives and pilot should be improved on this model the rigging looks like an interesting challenge and on the back of that is your build instructions Uh, so a lot of a lot of ribs now I did build a scratch built right glider um, a long time ago just for static I uh, don't have that anymore, um, so this will be a very, very interesting development from that. And after I build this one, I might actually be keen on scratch building a right glider uh, on the same scale. This scale is marked as 1 20th. I'll just show you the statistics sheet, part of the sheet there. Okay. Um, 1 20th scale, which is probably not a bad scale at all 
It actually looks very similar to the size of the Mustang wing. But this is obviously a very delicate model. Oh, I see there's a radiator. Yes, I hadn't realized there's a radiator there. That's another another item that, that would add nice detail if it's done well. So I'm going to have to research the engine, get some very nice drawings and start start maybe doing a prototype mock-up. Uh, see what I can slap together for a an engine the pilot I don't know this is not the sort of thing that I think any other model uses so nobody's going to have developed a a figure lying in that position um, I'm gonna have to give that some thought as to see how uh, one could use well I don't know how big that's no I can't say I've seen any any um, you know sort of toy figures that that might fit that and you could just buy a little uh one of one of those figures with legs and arms that can be moved and position him and redress in period costume have to give that some thought um the control wires to the surfaces that could also be done differently from your um, rigging line so that they stand out a little bit better. I'm not sure what one could do them. Either a different color cotton, something like that. I'll give that some thought. But all in all, I do like this. It's obviously, as aircraft go, uh, what you're getting in the Gillows box is far less than the Mustang or any of the Warbirds where you have to build up a whole fuselage and a whole bunch of stuff here you're essentially building wings with a little bit of extra but I do like the quality of the laser cut um, but it's going to be one of those models where I need to do um, quite a bit of extra work and, it, and it'll, it'll pay off because everything's visible so you'll be able to see this engine in great detail and in fact the metal colors are going to be pretty important it's, it's not just going to be like a car engine or a bike engine um, the the sort of I, I doubt anything was painted this would have been just a straight manufactured engine with um, all the metal colors showing uh, the little cogs um, not sure the little the little cogs on the drives there I'm not sure what I would use for that I mean watch parts come to mind strip an old clock find some parts that are about that size the chain I don't know I know you get motorbike chains 1 12th which you could you could figure out something but I'd like to do something maybe that's a bit more not using a bike in a bike one twelfth to me a bike thing for this. Um, I'll have to go and see what what could be used. I'm doubting that if you make the propellers move, that you'd manage to get the cogs turning with a scale chain. That's probably pushing the limits, um, but we'll see. So obviously with all of this delicate and thin structure you have to be careful for warping um, when you're building ensuring that your wing remains very very symmetrical and 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 flat and so on I see that this one sheet this sheet with most of the uh, formers on is a a more dense um, balsa and and almost a bit you know a better quality wood and this one is a bit thinner and um, we'll see I might remake some parts I might remake those we'll see we'll see if I think the strength is is uh, good enough 
And I wonder if one would varnish this. I've got a feeling that that maybe varnishing the structure before you tissue it would be an idea. And you, this is the sort of model you could get away with not not tissuing. Um, there's so much nice structure to see. And if you hang this up on your ceiling or put it in a display cabinet, um, seeing the full wing structure would be very nice. We'll give that some thought. You get this white tissue, two, two sheets of white tissue, um, which I think is too white for use on the right flyer. Um, that's, that's an area where I'd probably want something a little bit closer to balsa color, um, at least slightly off-white, so I don't think I'll use that. I, I, I certainly won't. Um, that's my thoughts on this kit at the moment. Very nice. I'm, I'm happy about that. Very simple. I mean, if you think about, well, that's, that's what you've got. You've basically got wings, wings and a couple of bits, which is what the right flyer is. Just a bunch of framework. So very nice. Let me know if any of you have got this kit, built it. Uh, any thoughts, any areas that uh, you need to be careful of? Great, hope you enjoy that. Cheers.